Greetings, Bissell fans, especially those that love really inexpensive bagged Bissells like this 1739. I think this was donated, I think this was my first VAC Lab donation by Thomas Rechtenwald sometime maybe toward the end of 2018. So it's been a little while. Anyway, I was looking back at my video database and I realized I did not have the opportunity to put this on my wooden airflow box fully sealed with a brand new bag. So I have these Febreze bags that are at least available at Walmart and I have a brand new unused one installed. So I'm hoping we can get some pretty good numbers out of this very inexpensive clean air bag machine that has an 8 amp motor. So let's see what happens. Okay, that's that's pretty fantastic. Remember, this machine is really inexpensive. So 60.5 CFM peaking with a clean, a fresh Febreze bag. I say that 10 times fast. So how about we take the bag out and see how much that bag is specifically dragging down the CFM. So it's really quite a nice bag. It's got a nice rubber seal around here. That's fabulous. It's got a little uh, smell-o card, I guess. <laughs> so you can have it, uh, you know, smelling, smelling fresh. Okay, so here we are. This is uh, empty. Don't run your machine this way. Bad things will happen. Okay, let me reset this. Let's see what it does with no filters whatsoever. And this doesn't have any type of filtration um, in it at all. I mean, the air just comes right out. As a matter of fact, it's probably blowing right by the camera's microphones. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. So it looks like this bag is only using eh, maybe two and a half CFM. So that's not that bad. That, that really isn't. So it's a great bag. And like I said before, the filtration is wonderful. So now how about we check for suction? Well, what can I say about this Power Force 1739? Back in 2018, I did actually go and test it with a uh, crucial HEPA bag. And I did not actually complete the formalized test with the paper bags from, from Febreze. Now that I've done that, you can see that I have a little more airflow than what I was able to get back in 2018, mainly because the bag actually fits the compartment a little bit better. But also realize that a paper bag will, will fill up and lose airflow at a greater rate than a HEPA bag will. That being said, what an incredible machine this is. 
I think this is probably just about the least expensive bag machine sold in North America. You guys know of a bag machine that's cheaper than around $50? Let me know because this is this is fantastic performance. And the fact that it only uses, you know, an 8 amp motor, it's it's less than 1000 watts. That's kind of a plus too. It's very lightweight. Um if you are not a vacuum abuser, you should get a number of years out of this machine. It definitely is built to last when reasonably used. And you know who you are, you, you unreasonable users, you. So really happy uh, to complete these tests and get a suction reading because that I simply didn't have before. And if you take a look at my whole house carpet cleaning video the average for all my machines is in the 8 gram range and this one is in the lower 8 gram range which puts it right smack in the middle of all my machines so when you pick up we'll say averaged mixed household dirt this inexpensive Power Force 1739 is dead on mid pack, even though its price is absolutely rock bottom. So, love it, highly recommend it. If you take care of it, you'll have fun with it. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.